Brought to you by wikivd.com Saturn Mythology Saturn is a god in ancient Roman religion and a character in myth as a god of generation, dissolution, plenty, wealth, agriculture, periodic renewal and liberation. In later developments, he also came to be a god of time. His reign was depicted as a golden age of plenty and peace. The temple of Saturn in the Roman Forum housed the state treasury. In December he was celebrated at what is perhaps the most famous of the Roman festivals, the Saturnalia, a time of feasting, role reversals, free speech, gift-giving and revelry. Saturn the planet and Saturday are both named after the god. Mythology the Roman soil preserved the remembrance of a very remote time during which Saturn and Janus reigned on the site of the city before its foundation. The capital was named Mons Saturnius. The Romans identified Saturn with a Greek Cronus whose myths were adapted for Latin literature and Roman art. In particular, Cronus' role in the genealogy of the Greek gods was transferred to Saturn. As early as Livius Andronicus Jupiter was called the son of Saturn. Saturn had two consorts, who represented different aspects of the god. The name of his wife Ops, the Roman equivalent of Greek Rhea means wealth abundance resources. The association with Ops is considered a later development however as this goddess was originally paired with Consus. Earlier was Saturn's association with Lua a goddess who received the bloodied weapons of enemies destroyed in war. Under Saturn's rule, humans enjoyed the spontaneous bounty of the earth without labor in the golden age described by Hesiod and Ovid. Etymology and epithets According to Varro Saturn's name was derived from Satu meaning sowing. Even though this etymology looks implausible on linguistic grounds nevertheless it does reflect an original feature of the god. A more probable etymology connects the name with Etruscan god Satyr, and place names such as Satria an ancient town of Latium and Saturae Palace a marsh also in Latium. This root may be related to Latin Phytonum Saturaea. Another epithet variably Sterculius, Stercutus and Sturces referred to his agricultural functions. This derives from Stercus dung or manure referring to re-emergence from death to life. Agriculture was important to Roman identity, and Saturn was a part of archaic Roman religion and ethnic identity. His name appears in the ancient hymn of the Salian priests and his temple was the oldest known to have been recorded by the pontiffs. Quintus Lucilius Balbus gives a separate etymology in Cicerus de Natura Deorum. In this interpretation, the agricultural aspect of Saturn would be secondary to his primary relation with time and seasons. Since time consumes all things, Balbus asserts that the name Saturn comes from the Latin word satis. Saturn being an anthropomorphic representation of time which is filled or satiated by all things. Oral generations. Since agriculture is so closely linked to seasons and therefore, an understanding of the cyclical passage of time, it follows that agriculture would then be associated with a deity Saturn. Temple the Temple of Saturn was located at the base of the Capitoline Hill according to a tradition recorded by Varro formerly known as Saturnius Mons in a row of columns. From the last rebuilding of the temple still stands. The temple was consecrated in 497 BC, but the area Saturni was built by King Tullus Hostilius are confirmed by archaeological studies conducted by Egerstad. It housed the state treasury throughout Roman history. Festival's time The position of Saturn's festival in the Roman calendar led to his association with concepts of time especially the temporal transition of the new year. In the Greek tradition, Cronus was sometimes conflated with Cronus time, 
and his devouring of his children taken as an allegory for the passing of generations. The sickle, or scythe of Father Time is a remnant of the agricultural implement of Cronus Saturn, and his aged appearance represents the waning of the old year with the birth of the new. In antiquity sometimes embodied by Ion, in late antiquity Saturn is syncretized with a number of deities and begins to be depicted as winged as is Kairos timing right time. Theology and Worship The figure of Saturn is one of the most complex in Roman religion. G. Dumezel refrained from discussing Saturn in his work on Roman religion on the grounds of our insufficient knowledge. On the contrary, his follower Dominique Brickell has attempted a thorough interpretation of Saturn utilizing de Messel's three-functional theory of Indo-European religion taking the ancient testimonies and the works of Abrelich and G. Picaluga as his basis. The main difficulty scholars find in studying Saturn is in assessing what is original of his figure and what is due to later Hellenizing influences. Moreover, some features of the god may be common to Cronus but are nonetheless very ancient, and can be considered proper to the Roman god whereas others are certainly later, and arrived after 217 BC, the year in which the Greek customs of the Cronia were introduced into the Saturnalia. Among the features which are definitely authentic of the Roman god, Brickell identifies these three elements in Brickell's view indicate that Saturn is a sovereign god. The god's strict relationship with the cults of the Capitoline Hill and in particular with Jupiter are highlighted by the legends concerning the refusal of god Iluventus and Terminus to leave their abode in the shrines on the Capitol when the Temple of Jupiter was to be built. These two deities correspond to the helper gods of the sovereign in Vedic religion and to the Cyclopes and Hecatonchias in Hesiod, whereas the helper gods belong to the second divine generation they become active only at the level of the third in each of the three instances of India, Greece and Rome, where they become a sort of continuation of Jupiter. Dumezel postulated a split of the figure of the sovereign god in Indo-European religion, which is embodied by Vedic gods Varuna and Mitra. Of the two, the first one shows the aspect of the magic uncanny or inspiring power of creation and destruction, while the second shows the reassuring aspect of guarantor of the legal order in organized social life. Whereas in Jupiter these double features have coalesced, Brickell sees Saturn as showing the characters of a sovereign god of the Varunian type. His nature becomes evident in his mastership over the annual time of crisis around the winter solstice, epitomized in the power of subverting normal codified social order and its rules, which is apparent in the festival of the Saturnalia in the mastership of annual fertility and renewal in the power of annihilation present in his Pedra Lua, in the fact that he is the god of a timeless era of plenty and bounty before time, which he reinstates at the time of the yearly crisis of the winter solstice. Also in Roman and Etruscan reckoning Saturn is a wielder of lightning, no other agricultural god is one. Hence the mastership he has on agriculture and wealth cannot be that of a god of the third function i.e. of production wealth and pleasure. But it stems from his magical lordship over creation and destruction. Although these features are to be found in Greek god Cronus as well it appears that those features were proper to Roman Saturn's most ancient aspects such as his presence on the capital and his association with Jupiter, who in the stories of the arrival of the Pelestians in the land of the Sicils, and that of the Arge orders human sacrifices to him, sacrifices to Saturn were performed according to Greek rite with the head uncovered in contrast to those of other major Roman deities which were performed capiti velato with the head covered. Saturn himself however was represented as veiled as for example in a wall painting from Pompeii that shows him holding a sickle and covered with a white veil.
This feature is in complete accord with the character of a sovereign god of the Varunian type, and is common with German god Odin. Brickell remarks Servius had already seen that the choice of the Greek rite was due to the fact that the god himself is imagined and represented as veiled. Thence his sacrifice cannot be carried out by a veiled man. This is an instance of the reversal of the current order of things typical of the nature of the deity as appears in its festival. Plutarch writes his figure is veiled, because he is the father of truth. Pliny notes that the cult statue of Satin was filled with oil. The exact meaning of this is unclear. Its feet were bound with wool, which was removed only during the Saturnalia. The fact that the statue was filled with oil, and the feet were bound with wool may relate back to the myth of the castration of Uranus. In this myth Rhea gives Cronus a rock to eat in Deus's stead thus tricking Cronus. Although mastership of knots is a feature of Greek origin it is also typical of the Varunian. Sovereign figure is apparent and more in Odin. Once Zeus was victorious over Cronus. He sets this stone up at Delphi and constantly it is anointed with oil. And strands of unwoven wool are placed on it. It wore a red cloak and was brought out of the temple to take part in ritual processions and lectisternia banquets, at which images of the gods were arranged as guests on couches. All these ceremonial details identify a sovereign figure. Brickell concludes that Saturn was a sovereign god of a time that the Romans perceived is no longer actual that of the legendary origins of the world before civilization. Little evidence exists in Italy for the cult of Saturn outside Rome, but his name resembles that of the Etruscan god Satyrs. The potential cruelty of Saturn was enhanced by his identification with Cronus known for devouring his own children. He was thus used in translation when referring to gods. From other cultures the Romans perceived as severe, he was equated with the Carthaginian god Baal Hammon to whom children were sacrificed and to Yahweh, whose Sabbath was first referred to as Saturn he dies Saturn's day in a poem by Tibullus who wrote during the reign of Augustus, eventually this gave rise to the word Saturday in English. The identification with Baal Hammon later gave rise to the African Saturn, a cult that enjoyed great popularity until the 4th century. It had a popular, but also a mysteric character and required child sacrifices. It is also considered as inclining to monotheism. In the ceremony of initiation, the mystery entrance subilugum, ritual that Legle compares to the Roman Tigillum Sororium. Even though their origin and theology are completely different, the Italic and the African god are both sovereign and master. Over time and death fact that has permitted their encounter. Moreover, here Saturn is not the real Italic god but his Greek counterpart Cronus. Saturnalia Saturn is associated with a major religious festival in the Roman calendar Saturnalia. Saturnalia celebrated the harvest and sowing and ran from December 17, 23. During Saturnalia, the social restrictions of Rome were relaxed. The figure of Saturn kept during the year, with its legs bound in wool was released from its bindings for the period of the festival. The revelries of Saturnalia were supposed to reflect the conditions of the lost Golden Age. Before the rule of Saturn was overthrown not all of them desirable except as a temporary release. From civilized constraint, the Greek equivalent was the Cronia. Macrobius presents an interpretation of the Saturnalia as a festival of light leading to the winter solstice, the renewal of light, and the coming of the new year was celebrated in the later Roman Empire. At the dies natales of Sol Invictus the birthday of the unconquerable sun on December 25. Roman legend It was customary for the Romans to represent divine figures as kings of Latium. At the time of the legendary origins, 
Macrobius states explicitly that the Roman legend of Janus and Saturn is an affabulation, as the true meaning of religious beliefs cannot be openly expressed. In the myth Saturn was the original and autochthonous ruler of the Capitolium, which had thus been called the Mons Saturnius in older times, and on which once stood the town of Saturnia. He was sometimes regarded as the first king of Latium or even the whole of Italy. At the same time, there was a tradition that Saturn had been an immigrant god received by Janus after he was usurped by his son Jupiter and expelled from Greece. In Versnell's view his contradictions, a foreigner, with one of Rome's oldest sanctuaries, and a god of liberation who is kept in fetters most of the year, indicate Saturn's capacity for obliterating social distinctions. The golden age of Saturn's reign in Roman mythology differed from the Greek tradition. He arrived in Italy dethroned and fugitive but brought agriculture and civilization for which he was rewarded by Janus with a share of the kingdom, becoming himself king. As the Augustan poet Virgil described it, he gathered together the unruly race of fauns and nymphs scattered over mountain heights and gave them laws. Under his reign were the golden ages men tell of, in such perfect peace he ruled the nations. He was considered the ancestor of the Latin nation as he fathered Picus the first king of Latium, who married Janus's daughter Canons and in his turn fathered Faunus. Satin was also said to have founded the five Saturnian towns of Latium, Alitrium and Neropina Matina and Ferentianum all located in the Latin valley province of Frisinone. All these towns are surrounded by cyclopical walls. The foundation is traditionally ascribed to the Pelasgians, but Saturn also had a less benevolent aspect as indicated by the bloodshed in his honor during gladiatorial munera. His consort in archaic Roman tradition was Lua sometimes called Lua Saturni and identified with Lua mate a mother destruction, a goddess in whose honor the weapons of enemies killed in war were burned perhaps as expiation. H. S. Versnell, however, proposed that Lua Saturni should not be identified with Lua Mater, but rather refers to loosening. She thus represents the liberating function of Saturn. Gladiatorial Munera Saturn's thonic nature connected him to the underworld and its ruler Dispater, the Roman equivalent of Greek Pluton who was also a god of hidden wealth. In 3rd century AD sources and later Saturn is recorded as receiving gladiatorial offerings during or near the Saturnalia. These gladiator combats ten days in all throughout December were presented by the Quaestors and sponsored with funds from the treasury of Saturn. The practice of gladiatorial munera was criticized by Christian apologists as a form of human sacrifice, although there is no evidence of this practice during the Republican era. The offering of gladiators led to later theorizing that the primeval Saturn had demanded human victims. Macrobius says that Dispater was placated with human heads and Saturn, with sacrificial victims consisting of men the figurines that were exchanged as gifts during the Saturnalia may have represented token substitutes on coins. In 104 BC, the plebeian tribune Lucius Apuleius Saturninus issued a denarius depicting Saturn driving a four-horse chariot a vehicle associated with rulers triumphing generals and sun gods. Saturninus was a popularist politician who had proposed reduced price grain distribution to the poor of Rome. The head of the goddess Roma appears on the obverse. The Saturnian imagery played on the tribune's name and his intent to alter the social hierarchy to his advantage by basing his political support on the common people rather than the senatorial elite. Brought to you by Wikivd.com Would you like to know more?